So as you all know, Sonic Central literally just happened not too long ago. There was a whole lot of information revealed that honestly makes me really happy to be a Sonic fan. I actually live stream my reactions and I'll link it above in case you want to watch it. Bro, what is that? A whole bunch of stuff got announced, like Sonic Colors Ultimate being officially announced and revealed to be on all sorts of different consoles, as well as Sonic Origins being a compilation of a variety of different types of classic Sonic games. In my opinion, Sonic Central had a lot of great stuff in it, but what really got me was the end of the presentation. At the end, we were presented with something that looked like a completely new Sonic game. Well, not look like it, that's kind of what it is. It is an entirely new Sonic game set to release in 2022. Now, of course, I was extremely hyped for this because this CG just looks really clean. Sonic also has a whole new move there which we know nothing about, as well as a completely new background that really we haven't seen in a little while. Many people have even begun theorizing that perhaps Sonic's new move has some sort of relationship to the Phantom Ruby. From this teaser alone, we can tell that Sega abandoned the old Sonic Lost World textures. Needless to say, I was extremely excited for what this game had to bring us in 2022. That was of course until I saw this leak. What's going on guys, it's Sonicsta, and today I'm going to be talking about the new Sonic 2022 game which looks to be known as Sonic Rangers. I normally don't do videos on speculation, leaks, or rumors or anything like that, but I felt as though it was really important to get my thoughts and opinions out there. So as always, if you do end up liking this video, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button, I make a ton of Sonic the Hedgehog discussion videos. Oh, and as always, this is a leak, so as a reminder, just take everything with a grain of salt. But anyway, let's talk a bit about the leak. Okay, so on Wednesday, January 6, 2021, 4chan was greeted with a new Sonic leak. Now, if you're like me or almost anybody else, the moment you hear a leak comes from 4chan, you immediately click off and don't believe any of it. And that's probably what most of us have done on that day. I mean, considering the fact that no one was talking about it and it didn't really gain that much traction, that's probably what all of us thought. But anyway, the leak goes on to say that they did a focus test for a new game called Sonic Rangers. Now, this line alone gives so much credibility to the alleged title Sonic Rangers, the new 2022 Sonic the Hedgehog game. Allow me to explain why. Okay, so a Twitter user by the name of Blue Wolf Boy said they were looking in the metadata of the leaked 4K video of the new Sonic teaser. They found that according to the original Adobe file name, it was called Rangers underscore teaser. So with that information alone, it's really easy to jump to the conclusion that perhaps that the new Sonic game that was revealed today is called Sonic Rangers. Now this is a pretty big deal because this adds so much credibility to that one leak. Now I want to make it clear here for a moment that I'm not saying that the leak is 100% true and everyone should believe it, but this definitely is worth taking a look at, hence the reason I'm making a video on this topic. But anyway, going back to the leak here, it continues on to say that it is an open world game populated with small enemies, puzzles, and platforming challenges. First of all, after reading this line, I was very excited to hear that there was going to be an open world Sonic game, something I had discussed earlier in a video. And not to toot my own horn or anything, but I feel like in that video, I really did get a lot of stuff right according to what Sonic Rangers potentially might be like. At least in terms of gameplay anyway. If you're interested in that kind of thing or just open world Sonic games in general, I definitely believe you should check that video out. But anyway, the leaker says that this game actually took some inspiration from the game Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild. Oh, and not to mention, they also said they played two demos with a 20 minute long exploration of the open world and the final boss battle. But moving on here, the leaker continues to say that by completing challenges, puzzles, and defeating enemies, the player is rewarded XP that can be redeemed in a skill tree. And it's at this very moment where the pieces actually begin to connect. According to the leak, the skill tree unlocks an ability that's called Spin Cycle, and when you hold down the Y button, Sonic starts tracing a line behind him, and if you finish the circle, it attacks all enemies inside. It was at this moment where I thought this was the absolute final nail in the coffin. It was at this very moment when I realized that perhaps that this new Sonic game shown off today actually is Sonic Rangers. Those are two of the three biggest reasons why I thought it was good to cover this in a video today. Again, you're not going to find me making a whole lot of leak videos, but considering they're not really all that fun or entertaining for me to make in the first place, but this one is a bit different. But either way, the leaker continues on to say that this game takes place in cyberspace as you go through different portals and collect orbs. The level structure in these cyberspace levels are actually comparable to those in Generations. I assume by this, this is supposed to be the boost gameplay. And of course, not a surprise to any Sonic fan, but the music apparently goes hard. Beating bosses unlocks Chaos Emerald, and also the leaker claimed that Roger Craig Smith was going to be voicing in the game. Oh, and not only that, but Roger apparently recorded new voice acting clips. To me, all of this information sounded really awesome, but everything began to change as I continued reading. The leaker here goes on to say that 
the exploration and combat was quote unquote super boring. He then goes on to call it very button mashy, but whatever. Now considering Sonic has not exactly been in the hottest streak in terms of video games, this is not really the best news to hear. He then goes on to talk about what he believes is the final boss battle of the game, which I'm not going to talk about here, you can read that in the link in the description down below. But anyway, to finish up the leak here, the leaker ends by saying the game is still definitely early on in development, but it was rough. Not a fun time from what I've played. If you know me, I'm normally a very optimistic person when it comes to Sonic the Hedgehog. A while back, I even made a video titled I am optimistic about the future of Sonic the Hedgehog or something like that. So knowing that information, it really should come as somewhat of a surprise to know that I was shaken by this one little leak. However, to be totally honest, I am going to continue on by saying I am still feeling very optimistic about this game. I don't have a set reason in particular, but I do really believe that if given time, this game can actually be good. If what this leaker says is true, then this game definitely has a ton of ideas working for it. Taking heavy inspiration from a critically acclaimed game such as Breath of the Wild leaves me feeling at least somewhat optimistic. Not to mention, if this leak is true, this game is extremely ambitious. I feel like we haven't had a Sonic game go to this level of hype since a very, very long time. Personally, I would argue the last huge, big, ambitious Sonic project was the game Sonic Unleashed back in 2008. During this time period, it felt as though Sega was not afraid to test the waters with all sorts of different kind of gameplay styles and character approaches as well. If this leak is true, it makes me feel as though Sega is ready to take big steps with Sonic once again. Not to mention there's all sorts of different cyberspace things going on here, and of course he says that the levels in these cyberspace stages are similar to the likes of Generations. For those of you who don't already know, Generations is a pretty critically acclaimed game. If this alleged leak is true, then I honestly can say that I'm a pretty big fan of what's going on here. The ideas that they're throwing together here definitely feel as though this might be a new take on the entire Sonic series. It's tackling an entirely new formula that this series has never even seen before. Mixing the boost gameplay with the adventure gameplay is something that I've always wanted to see demonstrated. I always felt as though it could work very similar to the likes of Sonic 06's mock speed sections. Most of Sonic 06 is similar to the adventure style of gameplay. However, once you hit one of those mock speed sections, Sonic cannot stop running and you're forced to keep going into different directions making sure you make the right move at the right time. I always felt as though for a boost adventure hybrid game, the boost would definitely have to act similar to the mock speed sections. Another thing that I think that should be noted here is that the leaker did say that the game is still definitely early on in development. With that being said, the game doesn't come out until 2022 and we don't even know when in 2022. By then, it's quite possible that this game could be well polished and a pretty great game. Like I said on January 20th, 2020, I'm optimistic about Sonic's future, I still can say the same to this very day. I still do believe that this Sonic the Hedgehog future will be very bright and this game is no exception. I still feel confident in the 2022 Sonic game known as Sonic Rangers. What's going on guys? Thank you so much for sticking around to the end of this video. But now I want to hear from you. What are your thoughts on the teaser for the 2022 Sonic the Hedgehog game? Will it be called Sonic Rangers or something completely different? Or better yet, are you feeling optimistic or pessimistic about this game? Let me know all of your thoughts in the comment section down below. If I didn't make it clear enough in the video already, we didn't see a whole lot of gameplay footage to go off of, so it's really hard to say how this game will be. Like I said before, I'm a very optimistic person, so regardless of how this game looks, feels, or even is thought to be, I will still believe that this game has the potential to be very good. I really wanted to make this video just to kind of address my thoughts and my opinions on what's going to be going on with this game. I wanted to make this video to make it clear that I completely and truly do understand the overwhelming negativity that's now amassing this game. I saw a couple of people on Twitter earlier relate the Sonic Forces debut trailer, you know, that little CGI thing they had ahead of time, to this new trailer for the 2022 game. People would compare the likes of the Infinite logo that we saw at the end of the Forces trailer to what we see now in the 2022 trailer. I do understand completely where you're coming from, however, I don't think this is a bad omen. What we saw today was nothing more than a teaser trailer. So in the end, before the negative comments even roll out, I think we should just take the time to just be patient. 
But with that being said, thank you again so much for sticking around to the end of the video, and if you liked it, please remember to hit that like and subscribe button. It really helps me and my channel out a ton. One last thing before I go here is I want to take the time to shout out some of my amazing channel members. Thank you all so much for continuing to drive and motivate me to make more and more content each and every single day. You guys are honestly and truly the best motivators. If you want to become a member of my channel and gain all sorts of exclusive perks like a secret Discord server that I'm in, there will be more information in the description down below. But anyway, with all that being said, thank you all so much for watching, and this is Sonicsta signing out. Have a blessed day, y'all. Why are you playing that trash?